Hey everyone, it's time for some Friday fun. And I'm back out at the teardrop because my husband needs to cook in the kitchen. He's barbecuing tonight. So that's okay. I wanted to show you how to make one of these recycled banners anyway. There's th a lot of different versions and varieties of that. We're gonna do that right now. two hanging here this is two different versions one is made with just torn up scraps of fabric I use cotton and then the other one is a shape so I'll tell you how to cut that shape out and this one's actually sewn on a little rope and I'll show you what kind of rope it's sewn onto and with the corners but uh, the three versions are really easy let's go to the first Okay, one. when I said that I'm using recycled materials for these banners, you could use these banners for anything. You can use them for baby showers, weddings, happy birthday, celebrations, anniversaries, or I've just seen a lot of people decorating their front porches and having these stay home celebrations for their loved ones, whether it be graduation or anniversaries. And you could use any color combination. The thing I've made most of these out of are jean material, so old jeans that are have holes in them that you don't need, or old shirts that are too small for my boys. I'm gonna show you how I make the banner strips first. I am just going to cut a slit right there so I can tear this. I'm gonna tear off the bottom, just like that, and the tears don't have to be even, Steven. And then I'm gonna tear down the side Basically what I'm making is a square. And I'm gonna tear across the front. Just tearing off a piece. I also use the sleeves in the same way. And the banner lengths are all different or the lengths of the pieces are all different. And now you could see I just have a square. And then I'm going to just cut some slits like every maybe two inches, I usually do it. Again, it's not perfect. I just go and cut these really quickly. I'm going to tear down the sides and just rip pieces of this like this. Yeah, this is fun too. It's very therapeutic, relaxing, quite satisfying, I must say. Then you have all these different colored strips. This is all of my husband's shirts, right? I make a strip by actually tying the strips together like this. Okay, so you're gonna make a knot at the end. See that? First, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna knot some of these together as long as I want the banner. Make some more knots. Door's closing on me because I didn't tie it down with the banner because I hung the banner. And these are all pretty cool patterns. And you could take, see these little pieces off. You can snip those off later. Don't worry about those. I don't even worry about it till the end. If it bothers me, I take it off. But you make it as long as you want. And then let's, every time, basically every, every one of these, I'm gonna put fabric on. So let's talk about that. I'm gonna get this one, just get a few colors. Sometimes you could just put one, but I'll put three. Okay, so you're gonna take it right here, grab the edges, make sure it's kind of even on both sides, and they're all different lengths, as you can see. That's why I said don't worry about the length of the strips. Just cut, just tear different lengths, and I'm gonna pull that through there, and pull like this, and there you go. It's like a hanging, there you go, it looks better on that side. But you can just keep doing that. I will probably do it on every one of these pieces and then I'll also do it in the center. So let's do another one, three. I'm gonna grab three of these. If you notice a piece is too thick, this is kind of thick, go ahead and just tear it into another piece. We're not looking for perfection, that's kind of the the beauty in these banners is they're imperfect. They're perfectly imperfect, but they're colorful and they're recycled. They're good for the environment. 
Ooh, I like that color combination. That's kind of cool. But see how far apart that is? So let's put one in the center too. And ooh, there's a good color. And I've just got such a wide variety. This one's really wide too. Let's cut that in half. It's also really long. I like some of them long. I like some of them short. I like a different color combination. Now, if I were gonna do this for like a wedding or a bridal shower, I would certainly do like a bunch of whites with lace. And if I were doing a baby shower, I'd do pastels. Um, if you have just old fabric around the house, old tablecloths, uh, you could do it with so many things. See, so now I'm putting it in the center of these two. And you just keep doing this along, make it as long as you want. What I like to do is hang these and then hang some like this too, along with those. Let's talk about how to make this one, okay? It's really easy. You need a pattern. So you're gonna take something like this to make sure it's symmetrical. And remember what symmetrical is. It means it's the same on both sides. You're going to take a piece of paper just like this and fold it in half. And then you're going to take a straight edge of something, a book or something, to make your triangle and get it just the way you want it. Try uh, some different sizes and get it just the way you want it. And then you're gonna cut some patterns. This wasn't the actual pattern I used for this one because look at how much wider that one is. You can make whatever size of pattern you want. On this one, I cut it with a scissor with a serrated edge that made a zigzag design. And you can just take a simple needle and thread, put your needle on the thread. And what I do is I just put a needle and thread and thread each one of these. But what I did with the other one, you can see this one right here, I made a different design and I tied it only at the ends on the rope, but I also kind of outlined it by putting two layers of fabric together. And I made that for a da my daughter's cap, a tailgate that we were doing. That's why it has the red and the blue. But we can also, I'm getting ready to make another one over here. You can see the shape right here. And again, to do that shape, all you have to do Where your is... fold is, you're going to cut it down like this. And then, of course, I would take something to measure this, of course. So let's say I want it this big. And then I would cut this edge off. I don't know how big you want it. I'm just giving you the idea, make sure you use a straight edge, but that's how you make that shape. My plan is to take a bigger one and a smaller one and to sew it together. If you have a Cricut machine also, this is great because you could put letters on these, uh, you could put designs on these. And what I would do with this is I would either take that little rope I said and I would just tie with a needle and thread this end and this end. And that's really all you need to do. If you don't know how to sew with a needle and thread, you can easily also glue this with some E6000 glue and it would actually work. It would hold. It's this, you could get it at Walmart Michaels online now at Amazon. You could also take string and just take a big needle like this with one piece of big string on it and just pull it through there and then you can just tie it in a knot and i'm just talking about if you don't know how to sew with a needle and thread there's a lot of ways to get this fabric on this string one thing i did with this one is i put it on i just actually tore fabric to make a string like i was tearing these apart I was tearing that, I tore and made a long string and then sewed these pieces of fabric on that string. So you guys have a lot of options, but again, these are great for celebrations. Mother's Day's coming up on Sunday. Make one of these for your mom to decorate. You can make them for the front porch. You can make them for your tailgating. You can make them for camping. 
So there's so many options. I hope you have fun with this and I hope you try it. Grab some old shirts, ask your dad which shirts he can't fit into anymore. Um, jean material works great. Just have fun with it. Have fun with the color. And I like to layer these. I like to put one of these with another design and just keep layering it over and over to get a really good look. So I hope you had fun with this. It's very satisfying, very relaxing. It's a great craft project and anybody can do it. So have a good weekend. Mothers, have a good Mother's Day and kids, treat your mothers well. Everybody have a good, safe weekend. I'll see you on Monday where we can learn something new together. Bye. <laughs>